For this video, I've invited my wife to join me for a Q&A about our home theater. How are you? Good. Good. So let's go ahead and get into it. You ready? Yes. So the first question is, what is your favorite part of the room? Um, I have a few favorite parts of the room. I really like um, the cushiness of the carpet. I like the feel of it on my feet, my toes um, when I'm in the room. Um, I also love the chairs, of course. They're very comfortable. The darkness of the room, I didn't think that I would. Um, at first, I thought I was wanted a lighter room. I was pushing for a lighter gray, but the darkness of the room has won me over, and I feel like it's more immersive with the darkness. Good. So... What's your least favorite part of the room? Uh, that's a hard one. I would probably have to say um, either the fact that I don't know how to use the equipment so much, so I'm intimidated by it, and I rely on you a lot to help me with it. That would probably be my least favorite part of the room is that I'm intimidated by all the gadgets and technology. Okay, I get that. So do you have any interest in going to a commercial theater again? I do not. I enjoy our theater, and I don't have any interest in going to a commercial theater again. So how does, like, our theater, how does that compare to, a, to like, your traditional commercial theater? It is more intimate. Um, I, and as far as the theater itself, the experience... I like this much more, the, the sound quality, the seating, everything is, you know, on par. It's just as comfortable, better, all that. Um, it's, it doesn't have that same thing of nostalgia as far as, you know, waiting, the anticipation of the movie starting and the, the trailer experience, that sort of thing. But as far as it being comfortable and the quality is much better at home. Yeah, I remember like when we would go to the movie theaters, the whole atmosphere, like just going in, smelling all the, the concession stuff and, you know, watching all the trailers and just getting there soon. I, I just like the whole atmosphere and, and everything. So I'm with you on that one. Yes, the anticipation. Yep. So what's been your favorite watch so far in the home theater, movie or show? I am not sure. I, I don't have a list prepared. Um, what's coming to mind um, I really enjoyed Top Gun Maverick a lot. I really liked Prey this year. Um, and then that one, um, what was it called? Um, um, Sicar Sic oh, Sicario. That was, I really liked yep. that one as well a lot okay. um, this, this year. Because I know that's older, but I, I watched that recently now like what about those movies did you like was it like the audio that you liked was it the video that you liked? was it just the story or was it just overall the way it presented down here in the home theater was it anything that kind of stood out in those movies i'd say um with top gun maverick it this uh, i did like the visuals i did like the sound um i don't think that watching that on the traditional tv would be the same as it being in the theater um completely agree yeah but in the prey having it in the complete dark room was really cool to see because it was such a dark movie mm -hmm. um and then also with the other one sicario right yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> um it was just such a fun movie to watch on the big screen in the theater so i i guess like i might not pick up on all the sound quality things and no notice the video things but um getting to the 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 experience itself isn't lost on me but um if that makes sense yeah that makes okay. sense are there any other shows or movies that that you like um house of the dragons was one of my all-time favorites that i enjoyed watching in the theater mm -hmm. as well as always football on sundays yeah yeah okay good so what did you envision when i first uh, mentioned building a home theater I don't think I knew how big it was going to be, the scale. I, I kind of just thought you meant um, a TV room 
um, like just, just a room, a with dedicated a TV, in it. TV room. Yeah. And I didn't get when you kept pushing for it, um, it to be a dark room and this, uh, the soundproofing elements that you would spoke of. I didn't really get why that was so crucial until I saw that you literally meant, um, our own little theater room in our house, yeah. <laughs> even though you kept saying it, I don't think I really got it. Um, and then to see it um, fully realized um, is amazing. Well, good. So when I'm in here watching something, how easy is it for you to hear in other areas of the house? Um, if I'm on the first floor, the floor above this, I can hear just the rumble of the subwoofer. Um, and that's about it, but I can't make out exactly what you're watching. Um, but if I'm on the second floor, I can't hear it. You can't hear anything. Mm -mm. I, but I'm not trying to hear for it either. So yeah, because you're not sitting in complete silence. Anyway, you're usually watching something or right yourself or doing something or something life else. is happening. And yeah. I'm not Yeah, gotcha. Um, so what would you change about the home theater? I think the only thing that I would change is the um, that I would like to learn more about how to make it more accessible for myself and learning the technology and, all, and the lighting thing. Yeah, I've spoken to you about that with the um, how it's bright. It's either dark or it's bright. Yeah, and making there be an in between. Yeah, the the lights have a. Um, I can actually take these lights out. They have a. I think they have like five, four or five different settings where I can change the color temperature. So you can have like a daylight, you can have like soft. Uh, I can't remember all of the the uh, light temperatures, but yeah, you can. I can definitely change that. We also have the dimming function, which I pretty much never use. So that would probably help out a little bit more if I actually did that, but yeah, I get it. Um, and this is sort of along the same line. What would you like added to the theater to improve your experience? Um, I think, it, I mean, one day it might be fun to have, you know, just outside of this room, like maybe set up a little snack, mm. stand, a little concession thing. I don't know if that just for us, it might not make a lot of sense, but that might be kind of fun to have. Yeah. Like maybe like a little, a little fridge, a little bar. Yeah, a little, we, we have a popcorn machine that we've never, never installed it. it. We've yeah. never used that, but maybe we could um, have it just, you know, for fun. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Well, good. Mm. Anything else you'd like to share? Any uh, experience? <laughs> anything uh, off the top of your head about the, the theater room? Your experience or things you like, don't like or anything you want to share? Um, I, you know, I, I really enjoy the, the seats, the love seat of the, the recliner thing, the little yeah. chairs. I love that. Um, uh, I mean, I don't understand the, um, all the different speaker aspects, but I really do like having the sound, the side speakers in particular, like making it feel like I'm surrounded by sound. Yeah. I don't necessarily like as much of the loud um, I guess it's a subwoofer that makes it feels like yeah really loud, but um, I do like um, feeling, I guess, immersed in the sound. I do like that. When I had the other one in the 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 rail, when I tested that one in, you liked that one though, right? I think. Do you so. remember that? I don't remember. I'm okay. sorry. Because I was testing the two. Yeah. Okay. So you like the immersion of the I do the speakers. I do like that. Well, good. All right. Well, thank you for joining me on this video. I thought it'd be great to get another perspective. So I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you.